안녕하십니까? 2016년 8월 고등학교 3학년 비상 모의대학 수학능력시험 영어 영역 듣기 및 말하기 평가 안내방송입니다. 잠시 후 2016년 8월 고등학교 3학년 비상 모의대학 수학능력시험 3교시 영어 영역 듣기 및 말하기 평가 방송을 시작하겠습니다. 수험생 여러분은 편안한 마음으로 방송에 귀를 기울여 주시고 감독 선생님께서는 스피커의 음량을 알맞게 조절해 주십시오. 수험생 여러분은 답안을 작성하기 전에 반드시 답안지 왼쪽 계단란에 성명, 수험번호 등을 정확하게 기입하고 표기하였는지 확인하시기 바랍니다. 답란에 정답을 표기하기 전에 답안지에 있는 수험생이 지켜야 할 일을 꼭 확인하십시오. 듣기 및 말하기 평가 문제는 1번부터 17번까지입니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 문제지에 있는 다섯 개의 답지 중에서 맞는 답 하나만 골라 답안지에 해당란에 바르게 표기하십시오. 듣기 말하기 평가는 타종 없이 시작됩니다. 그러면 지금부터 3교시 영어 영역 듣기 및 말하기 평가를 시작하겠습니다. 1번부터 17번까지는 듣고 답하는 문제입니다. 1번부터 15번까지는 한 번만 들려주고 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 방송을 잘 듣고 답을 하시기 바랍니다. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Can I use your computer? Sure. Let me tell you my password. You just type in my first name, E L I Z A B E T H. Oh, that is easy to remember. 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Tommy, how's your preparation for the college interview going? I keep practicing answering questions in front of the mirror. Good, but how about recording yourself on a video camera? 3번. 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. As you know, we have been telling our children that our world is a good place to live in. Unfortunately, it turns out to be a dangerous place sometimes. That's why we should prepare our children for potential danger in many ways. The Parker Police Department will host free child safety classes for children between the ages of 5 to 12. These classes include 911 education, how to avoid dangerous situations, and what to do and how to act in dangerous or uncomfortable situations that children may face. I'm sure these classes will help your children act wisely. I'd like as many children as possible to attend these classes and learn something for their safety. 4번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Kate, what are you doing? I'm looking at a brochure for special classes at the community center. Is there anything that caught your attention? Yes, I'm thinking of taking a Spanish class. A Spanish class? What for? Just out of curiosity. But you don't have any opportunities to speak Spanish in your everyday life. I know, but I think learning a foreign language will give me opportunities to experience new things. You're probably right. I can be more sensitive to new sounds and words, 
and be exposed to new expressions and new ways of thinking through learning a foreign language. It makes sense. Maybe you can travel to Spain. Exactly. A whole new world will open for me. Oban. 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Excuse me. Yes. What can I help you with? I'm moving in today. I'm Jeff Donald. Wait a second. Let me check. Oh, here you are. You're Jeff Donald, and you're a physics major, right? Yes. Could you tell me the room number? It's three o one. Your roommate checked in just before you came in. I see. Could you tell me your name? I'm afraid I have many questions about living here. Oh, I forgot to tell you my name. I'm Julie Jackson, the manager of this dormitory. I see. Could you tell me some guidelines on living here? Here's a brochure. The most important thing is dorm residents are asked not to walk around the hallways after 10 p.m. Okay, I won't forget that. 6번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good evening, Debbie. What are you doing here in the parking lot? Well, I have a problem with my car. Really? What is it? It won't start. I guess there's something wrong with the battery. Did you call the insurance company? Not yet. I've never had this kind of problem before. You just call the insurance company and tell them your situation and where you are. That's it. They will send a mechanic. Sounds simple. Well, I don't know the number of the insurance company. Let me find it with my smartphone. What's the name of the insurance company? Safety Car Insurance. Oh, that's my company too. I have their number in my smartphone. I'll give it to you. Thank you, Tom. 7번. 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Patricia, have you finished creating the summer sports camp poster? Yes, Mr. Simpson. Take a look. Well, you put the title in the upper right corner of the poster, not in the upper center. I thought it looked better this way. I agree with you. I like the way the title is presented. How about the picture of the three boys chasing a soccer ball? It's so nice, and I also like the picture of the boy dribbling a basketball. Thanks. How about the picture of the girls standing on the diving board? It's okay. The three pictures clearly show that kids will learn soccer, basketball, and swimming. You did a good job. I placed the information in the center bottom of the poster. Should I include anything else? No. You included our camp periods, time, and phone number. That's good enough. 8번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 내일 오후에 콘서트를 보러 갈수 없는 이유를 고르시오. Hi, Abby. How was your final test? It was very difficult, but finally the summer vacation is just around the corner. Right. Do you have time tomorrow afternoon? I have two tickets to the Andrea Bocelli concert. Where did you get them? My uncle reserved tickets, but he can't go to the concert because my aunt caught a cold, so he gave them to me. Good for you. I'd love to go to the concert, too, but I can't. I have somewhere to go. Oh, you have another appointment? Yes, I'm planning to visit Welton Middle School with my friends. Ah, you graduated from that school, didn't you? Yes. I heard the school is moving to another area soon, so I'd like to see the school again and take some photos there. Good idea. Have a good time. 
9번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Can I help you, sir? Yes, please. I'm here to buy a slide for my son. He's three years old. Okay. This is one of the most popular items these days. It looks nice. How much is it? It's originally $400, but it's 10% off right now. It's a little bit over my budget. I'd like to see something a little cheaper. Then how about this one? It's $300. It looks nice too. Is it 10% off as well? Fortunately, yes. Great. I'll take this one. I have a discount coupon. Would you see if I can use it for this purchase? Here it is. Let me see. It's a $10 discount coupon. You can use it now. Then I'll use it. Here's my credit card. How's your job hunting going, Jessica? I finally got a job. I'm going to be working as a parade dancer in Disneyland. Really? That's great. How did you get the job? My friend Alex told me about the job, and I turned in my resume last month. Good. And you passed the audition, right? Yes. They told me that I was a good dancer after they saw my dance. Wow, that's great. I'm contracted to work 30 hours per week. That's not bad. How much are you paid? They said I'll be paid $15 per hour. I heard parade dancers rehearse every day. You're right. I have to go to rehearsal at 8 o'clock every morning. That is not an easy job, but I think you're lucky. 11번. 미튼 체러티 드라이브에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello, I'm Jane Thompson, the director of Mitten Charity Drive. First, I'd like to thank you for your participation in the drive. As you know, it will run from the first day of November to the end of the month. Once you have finished your mittens, you can send them to us. Your mittens will be sent to the poor around our city. Feel free to put a little note for the receiver into your mittens. To participate in this drive, you should buy one mitten knitting set worth $10. Once you ship your mittens to us, you will be given a participation certificate from us by email. Thank you. 12번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 선택한 상품을 고르시오. Honey, what are you looking at? I'm thinking of buying Jake a toy vehicle for his birthday. What a good idea. Let's choose one together. How about a toy truck? Jake would like it more than a toy car. But I think a car looks safer than a truck. Let's choose one of the cars. Okay, which do you think is better, electric-powered or battery-powered? I have no idea. What do you think? I think the battery-powered one will be more convenient. I agree. And a remote control is needed, right? Of course. Then we have two models to choose from. I think Jake would like one with two seats. But there's no need for two seats. I think one seat is enough. Okay, this model costs $30 less than the other one. 13번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, what are you writing on the calendar? I'm writing down our events for the next month. Hmm, would you tell me what important events are coming up? As you already know, September 25th is our wedding anniversary. Thank you for reminding me. And what else? 
Well, my mother will visit us from September 8th to 12th, from Thursday to the next Monday. Oh, I didn't know that. It's been ages since we last saw her. The last time was in March, right? Yeah, she really misses our family. I see. We'd better make time to spend with her while she's staying with us. She'll be pleased with that. Speaking of which, how about taking a family trip on that weekend? I don't know what to do. I'm so upset. What's wrong? Terry still didn't send me his part of the group paper and group presentation. Wasn't it due last night? Right. Every other group member completed their part of the paper except Terry. Did you call him? Of course, but he didn't answer. We have to turn in the paper before 3 o'clock this afternoon, right? Yes. If we are late, our group will lose points. Professor Kingsfield is very strict and stern. We have no other choice but to do his share of the paper ourselves. 15번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 마이크가 제게게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Mike is a high school student and he lives in the school dormitory. This semester, Mike has been having trouble with his roommate, Jack. He is a very neat and highly sensitive person. He asks Mike to be as tidy as he is. Every time he sees Mike leave things out of place and make the room messy, he gets angry and tells Mike to clean up. Moreover, he is so sensitive to noise that when he is in the room, Mike can't even listen to music with his earphones. So Mike thinks he needs to let Jack know about how uncomfortable he is. In this situation, what would Mike most likely say to Jack? 16번과 17번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Living in an apartment has its advantages, but it also has some disadvantages. If you are a pet lover, you might think this is especially true. One of the serious disadvantages would be that the space is too small to keep pets. However, there are some pets that adapt really well to smaller spaces. Cats, for example, are perfectly suited for living in an apartment. They don't need to be walked. Next, if you're a dog person, there's no reason to despair either. Many small dogs, such as the King Charles Spaniels, Chihuahuas, and Yorkshire Terriers, will be perfectly happy and healthy in your one- or two-bedroom apartment. Next, turtles and small lizards are so small and quiet that they are perfect for your apartment. Lastly, a variety of fish in an aquarium are great pets if you live in an apartment. According to a study, watching fish swim around in an aquarium helps lower your blood pressure and stress. If you are a pet lover living in an apartment, I recommend you pick one of the animals I mentioned. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Living in an apartment has its advantages, but it also has some disadvantages. If you are a pet lover, you might think this is especially true. One of the serious disadvantages would be that the space is too small to keep pets. However, there are some pets that adapt really well to smaller spaces. Cats, for example, are perfectly suited for living in an apartment. They don't need to be walked. Next, if you're a dog person, there's no reason to despair either. Many small dogs, such as the King Charles Spaniels, Chihuahuas, and Yorkshire Terriers, will be perfectly happy and healthy in your one- or two-bedroom apartment. Next, turtles and small lizards are so small and quiet that they are perfect for your apartment. Lastly, a variety of fish in an aquarium are great pets if you live in an apartment. According to a study, watching fish swim around in an aquarium
helps lower your blood pressure and stress. If you are a pet lover living in an apartment, I recommend you pick one of the animals I mentioned. 16번. 남자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은?